Blue Hotel, a great double feature. Did this Detroit neighborhood have to be destroyed to provide auto factory jobs? CBS reports what's good for General Motors, Thursday at 8, 7 Central and Monday. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Five striking air traffic controllers are spending their first nights in jail tonight. Thousands of others are receiving their dismissal notices. The strike continues as both President Reagan and the controllers refuse to give in. And tonight, the head of Canada's Air Controllers Union says U.S. airspace is not safe. His advice to Canadian pilots is to stay out of the U.S. The Reagan administration is also facing a protest by other government employees, the U.S. Immigration and Naturalization Service. Workers plan to set up picket lines August 21st to protest Reagan's proposed immigration policy. In Texas, some businessmen who wanted to be the first to launch a private company satellite saw their rocket suddenly explode into flames. The engine was to be fired up for a five-second test. Now the project will be delayed several months. This bud's for everybody who puts in a hard day's work. For all you do. This bud's for you. I'm Connie Chung, CBS News Los Angeles. More news at 11 on this CBS station. This is CBS. All 74 Mervyn stores celebrate the opening of a new store in Vancouver, Washington. You can save 20%... celebration of the century, Wednesday at 8 on KPTV 12, Portland. From the Portland Sports Arena, this is Portland Wrestling. Brought to you in part by Marv Talk and Ford, where you're number one. And by Tom Peterson, Oregon's largest TV stereo and appliance at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. Hello, everybody. I'm Frank Bonneman. and I'm glad to have you aboard. We're going to have a lot of action for you tonight and a lot of new names coming into the Pacific Northwest. We'll be talking about uh, those people as the show goes on. Summertime, kind of slow in professional wrestling in most places, not so. Great crowds in Salem, great crowds in Eugene last night. Big crowd last Tuesday here, and we'll tell you more about the Destroyer and who he is after we take this time out and hear from Tom Peterson and myself on behalf of Tom Peterson. When we tag up, Tom goes first. It's Tom Peterson's truckload sale, over a million dollars to sell with truckloads of TVs arriving daily. As advertised in the Saturday Oregonian, TV Click, TV Guide, you can save $50 on this 19-inch GE remote control 91-channel colored television. Only $498 introductory price. You save $50. That's Tom Peterson's truckload sale. Under $500 for remote control television and of course if that's not quite your cup of tea you go out there and see the super better than ever selection and the continuing service after sale of televisions and that no hassle tv guarantee also a good time to be thinking about uh, air conditioning you better believe it tom's got it 199 dollars for room air conditioners on sale this weekend at tom peterson a big truckload sale in so get out there if a premium beer is to please a lot of people, it has to be good. It has to know the way to natural ingredients. What prime quality hops to seek out? What first-rate grains to choose? It must draw upon the Pacific Northwest's pure mountain water. But above all else, it must deliver fine taste. Today, one beer does it all. Mountain Fresh Rainier, a brew of heart. Ready for first match action. Not a big crowd on hand. They had a good one on hand Tuesday night. And the Destroyer unmasked. More on that in a moment. 
first event this evening will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 238 pounds from Hawaii, Jimmy Oppie. His opponent in this corner, 242 pounds from Houston, Texas, King Parsons. Referee Sandy Barr. Good crowds all week long. I was in Salem myself and saw that one at the Armory. I was not able to be here Tuesday with a near sellout crowd, but the man who's been wearing the mask for so many years and incidentally will continue to wear the mask and be known as the Destroyer, unmasked a couple of times this week, as he had agreed to. Tuesday, he said he would unmask if uh, he could be given the match with Buddy Rose. Promoters agreed to that. He unmasked uh, quite a mustache. Uh, hairdo. I guess you'd say something akin to an afro. And the name of David Sierra. David Sierra. But the mask now is back on again. He did not say he was going to take the mask off and uh, go on wrestling. The man has made his living with a mask on throughout most of his wrestling career. So the mask goes back on. But those that were on hand this week at a couple of places were able to see it. Sellout crowd at Eugene last night. Elton Owen always putting on a great show down there every Friday night. And another one last night, and the crowd turned out to see it. Go behind on Jimmy Alpha, Bull Nelson by King Parsons. And he muscles out of it. He popped out that so quick. It hurt the hands of Parsons who had to hold. They lock up. Go behind. This time Jimmy Offie with the hold. And muscling out of it, no. Got halfway out of it. King Parsons could not get it all the way. And powered out of it, but Alfie not giving up. Stayed with it and put him back in the hold. And drops out and kicks off. Found another route of escape. Eddie Mansfield, the Hollywood international or continental lover, is what he calls himself, coming out of Texas right now. A few months ago, he was in a hair match. That was just before Steve Regal was here in the Northwest. Steve Regal was where this was happening down there. He interfered and caused Mansfield to get his head shaved. So at this time, when he was here a couple of weeks ago, he was wearing a mask because he did not want to be seen. He is very proud of uh, what he calls his good looks, his handsome profile. He found out where Steve Regal was, and he's come after him. As you know, he had one match here a couple of weeks ago and then was put on a three-week suspension because he punched out Sandy Barr in the crowd after the interview was over even. But he comes back. The suspension is up next week. Eddie Mansfield coming in after after one Steve Regal and of course you might guess Buddy Rose is yelling and screaming about getting a title shot here in Portland for that matter anywhere he can he wants to get a championship shot at Regal and he and Oliver are crying for Bourne and Regal to put their tag team line uh, tag team titles on the line. Bourne wants Rose one-on-one. -on -one. So a lot of matches that are trying to be made, but uh, Rose wanting to be involved in all of them except going in against Matt Bourne. He's not too one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. He's not too happy about doing that one. Side headlock. Offy with the hold on Parsons.
side headlock down on the mat. Jimmy Alfie. With the hold on Parsons. Good shot of Irene at ringside. She's kind of the consulting referee. Off he turned over on shoulders, nearly counted out. Talking about other wrestlers coming to the Northwest, you might make note of the name Matt Masters, sometimes called Mean Matt Masters. He's coming in. We haven't heard much about him except that he is super tough. And a fellow we've heard a lot about. He's sensational over in Europe, wrapping up some obligations he has in England. He's going to be here toward the end of September. Matt Masters comes in the middle of September. Eddie Mansfield in next week. Whoa, flying tackle. Diving underneath that. Leapfrog by Alfie. Good block throw for the take down. Good action between King Parsons out of Houston, Texas, and Hawaii's Siva Afi. Siva Afi getting some offers from around the country to come in and be a semi-main eventer and earn some shots at main events which he's not been able to get here in the northwest the, the, uh, the competition is so great here if those guys are on top you have to beat them to get them off the top and if uh, you come in with not a lot of experience like Jimmy Alfie you sometimes don't ever get that shot but the wrestling that he's done here people have heard about it and they're looking to bring him into their territories. One of the hot sections of wrestling right now I know trying to get him is the uh, Carolinas. Oh, little head bump. And that's to the top of the head of Siva Afi. So that will hurt. It's the front of the head that is so hard. Same is the case with King Parsons. Definitely should not be a battle of headbutts in this one. Sandy Barr, Dandy Sandy, in his brown and white outfit tonight. Kind of a late coming crowd in the summertime. We've got uh, we've got a couple hundred people come in here after the the 8:30 bell rang. That's the case in a lot of towns. We remind you that most towns have eight o'clock starting times during the summer. If you figure on an eight o'clock car, you oh, a headbutt to the midsection puts off you down. Figure on eight o'clock, you'll be doing pretty good. Billy White Cloud, 230-pound Cherokee Indian. Coming up in a month or so. Less than a month, probably. Body press gets the count of two, but that's all for Parsons. Unable to put Steve away. Body slam. Covered with a body press. One, two. Flail kicks his way off. Headbutt, and I didn't think we'd see that. Because it, it's not going to affect either one of them, I don't think, except if you stick it in the abdomen, as Parsons just did, then a forearm smash uppercut. Everson with the body press, two, and a foot on the rope. He'll call for the break. Whip into the ropes, cuts on the shoulder in a body lock. Some 14 years or so, we started professional wrestling, Portland Wrestling on Channel 12. Started on Friday nights then. 
out of the armory and a fellow that helped me get started to pass along what's happening in the ring to you folks at home pepper martin has become an actor now and if you get a chance to see superman 2 you'll see him in two big parts as the truck driver only man i've ever heard of that whips superman but you might expect when it's superman you get your comeuppance sooner or later pepper martin and I have often thought, uh, often given a lot of credit to helping me. That is a good part in the movie. I'm glad to see it happen for him. Body lock, the bear hug on Offy by King Parsons. Sandy Bar looking on. Flea Market King. We used to call him Flea Market Magnet, but then people start playing with that word and didn't come out, <laughs> didn't come out sounding real good, so we dropped that. Even though he still has the flea market here on Sundays. Kangaroo kick to the midsection. Knee lift. Elbow drop. Seba Afi going to work. Gets the count of two on Parsons as well. Suplex. But he spun him too hard. He really didn't slam him down on the mat the way he wanted to. Side by side suplex. It didn't work quite the way he wanted it to. Front headlock, small package, one, two, no, I thought he had him. Off he able to kick out of the small package. Coming off the ropes. Flying forearm smash. Spins the Texan into the ropes, he's hanging on. Snap mare out of it. Off he going after, just missed that elbow drop. Just back of the head, the elbow smash, body slam. Coming off the ropes, trying to put him away with a flying body press. Off he got out of the way. Off he going to try the same thing, coming off the second turnbuckle. But this time, Parsons got out of the way. One, two. And got the near pin there, but not the pin. To the time limit, a draw. We're going to look here in a moment. We'll be looking and telling you where wrestling is coming up in the next week where you can see it live. Good crowd on hand now tonight. Not nearly like the solo crowd that uh, we had Tuesday. And I'm purposely holding back and telling you the results of Tuesday. We're going to try to get the destroyer up here. Tell what happened himself. Or Rose. Parsons saying, look, we had a pretty good match. Let's shake hands and let it go at that. They went to the time limit. A draw. Okay. What? <laughs> Let's hold on a minute here. We might have some more action. A shake of the hand, and Jimmy's saying, oh, I was just kidding. He's, come on, give me five. Give me a low five. In this case, it'll be ten. King does a switch. And the King gets in a kick. Offie a little upset about it, but they're all even. So they'll leave. Okay, we bring you the action as best we can, but you got to be there live to really see it in all its splendor. And you can do that tomorrow at La Grande, Oregon. A big cage match is the main event there. Monday at Redmond, the Supercar Junior High School Gym. Tuesday in Albany, Oregon. And that will be at South Albany High School. Wednesday, a super shootout in Seattle. Battle Royal, the women in that one. Thursday at Salem, they're going to have a, a team match there against the top two 
team rivals and anything goes. Friday in Eugene, Elton on with another big supercard. We're back here next Saturday and then a week from Sunday, Seward Park, Washington. We'll be right back. Now it's time to hear Mel Tonkin about Marv Tonkin Ford. Marv Tonkin Ford, always the Northwest leader, is leading again as we offer $1,000 off dealer window sticker on any new Ford on our lot for your old used car, even if you have to push, pull, or drag it in for trade. We are making this offer because our lot is full with over $4 million worth of new Mustangs, Fairmonts, and new EXPs and Escorts, which must be sold yet this month. Let me show you what this special push, pull, or drag deal can mean for you on a new Ford Fairmont. Here it is with power steering and deluxe wheel covers. With your trade always worth $1,000 of Marv Tonkin Ford as a down payment, you pay just $156.61 per month for this new Ford Fairmont. Or choose this new front-wheel drive Escort, America's hottest-selling car, and you pay just $148.36 per month when you bring in your old unwanted car for trade during this July push pull or drag it in special. And remember, Marv Tonkin Ford still has interest rates on new cars far below the current prime rate. That's only at your Northwest Ford headquarters, Marv Tonkin Ford. When you are faced with things that say no, get yourself a can of Tri Flow, the lubricant that turns no into go. High performance Tri Flow turns no into go. Because Tri Flow penetrates to help free frozen parts and has Teflon for unbeatable lubrication. That's why Tri Flow lubricates better than the leading brands. So use Tri Flow and turn no into go. Tri Flow now available at these and other fine stores. Bo Derrick, Richard Harris, and Miles O'Keefe in Tarzan, the Ape Man, rated R. Exclusive engagements now playing at the Baghdad. A lot of new faces coming into professional wrestling, and of course a lot of old rivalries remain. What's going to be happening this week, Dutch Savage? Well, tomorrow evening, for the benefit of the fans in Eastern Oregon, first time in about uh, six or seven months, we're going back over to La Grande, Washington. Now, you folks in La Grande, we're going to be there tomorrow night, and it's going to be at the high school gym. And it is going to be a cage match tomorrow night in La Grande. The match will start at 8 p.m., so you folks better get your tickets early. Monday night, Redmond, Oregon, for the auxiliary, excuse me, for the Elks Club there in Redmond, Oregon. We've got a big card playing. The cage is on tap over there also. Tuesday night in Albany at South Albany High School. South Albany High School, Jim, you people know what the matches are down there. Elton Owens has a big one planned. I'm going to be on hand. Wednesday night is Seattle. There's a big shootout going up there. Now, don't pay any attention to the board over here because somebody made a mistake saying Thursday we're off. We're not off Thursday. Salem. The Grand Theater, Salem, big show going on down there. Friday, Eugene, Saturday, Portland, and Sunday, the guys are going up to Seward Park outside of Seattle for Representative John O'Brien, and he's part of the Washington State Athletic Commission. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Savage. Did I do good? You did good. We're going over to Redmond in that area. I'm going to see a lady by the name of Donna, who's a relative. <laughs> okay. And we'll remind you, too, it is La Grande, Oregon, of course, uh, that he was talking about tomorrow, La Grande, Oregon. Uh, in Thursday in Salem, it's Anything Goes Tag Match. We'll be right back. Time to hear once again from Tom Peterson. Hello, I'm Tom Peterson. In our furniture store, we have an outstanding colonial buy. You save $150 when you buy the seven-piece living room group for only $698. Imagine these times of rising prices to be able to buy a seven-piece colonial grouping like this at prices we don't think you can beat. The sofa and love seat are covered in stain-resistant Herculon fabric and trimmed in pine for the true colonial touch. You also get three tables, cocktail table, hex end table, and square end table, plus two lamps. Now, if you don't need the entire group, you can buy any piece at these low, low prices. The beautiful colonial sofa is only $299. The matching colonial love seat is just $250. The occasional tables, your choice, $67 each. And the table lamps, only $49 each. Now that's Tom Peterson. It's our furniture store. Tiger's milk. 
milk nutrition bars. Bring out the tiger in you. Tiger's milk nutrition bars under the delicious carob coating are natural things like peanut butter and honey, plus something no other snack has, the protein-rich Tiger's milk nutrition blend without preservatives. Tiger's milk. Bring out the tiger in you. Sunday at 5, they commit a most serious crime. Mutiny. Merritt was the perfect officer, but not Captain Queeg. Ah, but the strawberries. That's, that's where I had them. They laughed at me and made jokes. But I proved beyond the shadow of a doubt and with, with geometric logic that a duplicate key to the wardrobe ice box did exist. And I'd have produced that key if they hadn't pulled the cane out of action. Humphrey Bogart, The Cane Mutiny, Sunday at 5 on TV 12. Do want to clear up that confusion. We just had a little trouble getting Salem up on the board. There definitely is wrestling in Salem next Thursday. The Grand Theater. Art Cruz coming in. He'll be here in the next uh, couple of weeks. And man out of Kansas, played football there, collegiate wrestler, 240 pounds, and that's pretty tough co competition in that Big 8 conference, play football at any of those schools, and uh, I tell you, you've got to have your head tacked on right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, over the next couple of months, I watch for some new wrestlers, there will be a new one in here next, uh, two weeks from tonight on August the 8th, Art Cruz, a big husky lad from Kansas State, uh, former Kansas State football player, will be in here two weeks from tonight. And then following that will be several new faces over the next couple of months preceding. The next day event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 278 pounds from Minnesota, Tiny Anderson. His opponent in this corner, 228 pounds from Florida, Hack Sawyer. Hacksaw Sawyer, and as is usually the case with Hacksaw, he'll have to give away some weights. Of course, then most people at Russell Tiny Anderson do have to give away weight. It goes about 280, 270. Sawyer, about 216, 217. Out of Florida, his brother Buzz Saw. About ready to resume wrestling action again. It upsets Tiny so much. <laughs> Second match of the evening. First one, Parsons and Alfie. Went to a draw. Arm drag slams. On the big man by the little man. Tiny Anderson's going to bail out. Okay, what's happening here? He was thrown. He'd get up and charge. He's thrown again. Couldn't break the string there. Anderson, the heavier. But uh, saw having much the better of speed and agility.
<laughs> Anderson now sitting at ringside. Well, he's sitting at ringside. None of the fans wanted to really talk with him. They talked at him. Finally, the big man's back in the ring. Arm drag slam again. And again. He's going back towards the dressing room now. That's part way. Thinks better about it. He's not had much luck in the ring on this night. Count's been stopped a couple of times because Hacksaw goes to the ring ropes, threatens to go out and get him in that position of interference, stops the count, gets it restarted again. Restarted at one, otherwise you have 20 seconds to be outside the ring. got one leg inside the ring and I guess Sawyer figures I better tie him up and never get him into the ring and there he goes hanging from one leg circulation there for a minute or so he couldn't run right now even if he wanted to trying to get the circulation back now moving for the well on it lock up side headlock hip throw for the takedown side headlock Sawyer on Anderson in to take down again. Just received word August 4th will be the date of the next big Tuesday special. That is a week from Tuesday, not next Tuesday. Week away. Ten days from tonight. And uh, what we're looking forward to or uh, uh, hoping to find out about it by next Saturday, if not later tonight is that Matt Bourne is pressing for about with Buddy Rose. You know that. The family, uh, the, the Bourne family's all torn up about the sister's marriage to Buddy Rose. He wants to get Rose in a match that is not, cannot be on television, therefore on a Tuesday night. He wants it to be non-televised because of how brutal it's going to be. One, two. Anderson almost gets the pin. Not quite. 
Body slam. Anderson. Reverse elbow drop and he misses with it. The whip. And a shoulder throw. Double knee lock. Gets Sawyer tied up in the top rope, choking on him. He just didn't want to have any more. He is disqualified. Uh, rather, Hack Sawyer, the winner, Hack Sawyer. On a DQ, Hack Sawyer wins it. he's so fondly known whale on the beach loses it before we cut away for a message just a quick shot of the young man named art cruz this fella played his football wrestled collegiately at kansas state weighs 240 pounds and he is going to be here in the very near future eddie mansfield will be here next week we think you're going to like this young man a lot we'll be right back with a lot more action after we hear from alan tonkin from our tonkin ford it's a $1,000 push-puller drag-it-in sales extravaganza going on right now at Marv Tonkin Ford, during which we'll give you a $1,000 trade-in allowance off dealer window sticker on any new Ford in stock. Even if you have to push-pull or drag your old car in, as an example, choose this new 1981 Ford Mustang, long list of extras, get your $1,000 trade-in allowance and pay just $169.48 per month. That's only at your Northwest Ford headquarters, Marv Tonkin Ford. This looks like a good spot. For what, Ralph? <laughs> to see the artesians. What? You know, the artesian. It's their artesian brewing water that makes Olympia beer taste so good. Oh, give me a break, Ralph. Sit over here, you can see better. Do I look like the kind of girl who believes in artesians? Take me home. I can't do that. Why not? I'm out of gas. Now you're talking, Ralph. <laughs> Monday at 8, when the family maid decides to quit, they determine what she needs is a boy friend. You like it? What makes you think I'd be a good stud? You don't see that fish? That piranha strikes at anything in its way. That's me. So that's how you did it. Send to tell him about the gambling if he didn't take me out. Sidney Poitier, Abby Lincoln, Bo Bridges in For Love of Ivy. Monday at 8 on TV 12. Well, the army is dwindling down, but we still have Rip Oliver and the general, Buddy Rose. Howard Cosell Bonham is at it again. The army is dwindling down. Ah. It's called when something goes wrong, you just pick up the pieces and put them back together. Now it's Oliver and myself all by ourselves. We have not got an army as of now. Now, your people are all going, Buddy Rose can't say he's got an army. It's just Oliver and myself. I will find a new recruit. I will surprise everybody with somebody. I haven't got anybody in mind right now. The only thing I've got in mind right now is we want a tag team championship match with Regal and Bourne. We also have another announcement to make. I want a championship match with Regal. Regal, he should come out to the ring with feathers and wings on. He is the biggest chicken blank champion I have ever seen. The men, you gotta admit, every man that's had a title, a championship, I've got a match with him. This guy's avoided me like no man has avoided me because he knows the first time he meets me, I'm going to win the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship. I, I might say, talking about avoiding, how about the match that Matt Bourne wants with you? 
Last Tuesday night, Matt Bourne made an announcement to everybody that he wants to wrestle me in a match where the loser is going to be so embarrassed that he would not want to show his face on this camera again. Let me tell you something, Matt Bourne. First of all, I had a talk with your sister and I asked her about your past and what you were like. And every time you didn't get your way, you'd jump on the cement, hit your head in the cement when you were a little kid, jump up and down, always crying, always wanting your way. Now listen, I'm telling you people a private life of Matt Bourne, straight from his sister. And I don't care. She's upset with you and she doesn't like what you said about me Tuesday night. So it's her and I against all of you. And I don't care. I'll just say this, Matt Bourne. I want to know what, and I'm demanding to know, what kind of a match that you want with Buddy Rose. I want to know what you have in mind. Do you think you can embarrass me like I've never been embarrassed before? And I demand to know now, tonight. I know, hey, I got a right to know. And I always won't tell me, so boys, don't hold it back any longer. I want to know now. All right, Oliver, you have something to say about what happened last Thursday. All the people in Salem have <coughs> seen the first match this cupcake punk has put his belt on the line against anyone was with Rip Oliver. Rip Oliver beat Cupcake Steve Regal right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three, and then... We have a referee like Jimmy Offey come up and take the belt away from me and headbutt me in the head. Well, Regal, I beat you once. Rose, I know, can beat you. We're going to take you and Matt. All we want is our belts back, boy. So you chickens, get, put them on the line. And Destroyer, oh boy, you, you bumped the wrong head, brother. And that's Buddy Rose as he put his mask back on last Tuesday night loaded it up and he let me have it you outsmarted me destroyer but now it's time that i outsmart you we're going to show you people that we are tag team championship caliber singles championship caliber and matt born i want to know what the hell you're talking about well we'll find out i'm sure matt board will let us know when it's time time now for one of the men makes this show possible and has for the 14 years we've been around talking of course about tom peterson it's Tom Peterson's truckload sale. We've just returned from the Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago. Over a million dollars worth of inventory to sell. Truckloads are arriving every day. And as advertised in the Oregonian TV Click TV Guide, you can save $300 on this Magnavox Panasonic indoor-outdoor video system. All three pieces, video recorder, AC adapter, color camera, only $9.98 introductory offer. And here's what you get a Magnavox six-hour VHS video recorder, Magnavox AC adapter, Panasonic colored camera, two blank videotapes, membership in Tom Peterson's Video Club. All this for only $9.98. You save $300. And when it comes to video, we're number one on brand selection. Choose from RCA, Zenith, GE, Magnavox, Sony, Hitachi, Sanyo, Panasonic, Sharp, Toshiba, JVC. Now that's Tom Peterson. That is one of the greatest video buys Tom has ever had here in Portland Wrestling. And as all good things, it's not going to last much longer. If you go in Monday for that buy, they're going to be gone. Just a very few left. And the next ones they get in, when they go on, at, uh, right now we figure the price will be $1,298. I want to remind you, too, KYXI Radio, 817, 917, 1017, every Sunday morning, those three times for up-to-the-minute wrestling results brought to you by Tom Peterson. It's Tom Peterson's truckload sale. Over a million dollars of electronics to sell. Buy the Sanyo video recorder for only $5.95. And at Tom Peterson's, we carry the top video recorder brands. RCA, Zenith, GE, Magnavox, Sony, Atachi, Sanyo, Panasonic, Sharp, Toshiba, JVC. And when you buy any video recorder like this Sanyo for only $5.95, you get as a bonus two blank videotapes plus membership in Tom Peterson's movie club. All this for $5.95. That's Tom Peterson. The greatest adventure of escape is about to blow the future apart. John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Rated R. Now play. A week from tonight, women wrestlers are going to return to the Portland Sports Arena. 
in a mixed tag match. They'll each take one of the men wrestlers for a partner. And this one of the most unusual matchings. Donald, of a team. there's no way he's going to wrestle with the mask on. He'll put something in it and hit me again. There's no way. That's up to him. He's run for this for two or three years. So it's not up to me this time. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be the best two out of three falls with a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, the team of Rip Oliver and Buddy Rose. Their opponents in this corner are request team Steve Regal and the Destroyer. Matt Bourne stepping aside for the Destroyer to join his partner Steve Regal so that he might get another crack at his former Army mates, is that what you'd call it? Members of the Army at any rate. David Sierra is his name. He masters off Tuesday. Also down at Salem last Thursday. Took it off, revealed who he was. Has wrestled most of his career with the mask on and said that he had no intentions of giving up the mask. He just did it for these couple of special bouts to get Buddy Rose in the ring. to get this thing started and tags. So, Regal does too. Now it's a destroyer and Rose. Buddy thinks best of that. They lock up, middle of the ring, side headlock. The tag to the trail will come in. Thought he was going to come in and instantly get a hold on Rose, but Rose slipped it and bailed out. in a non-televised match, so we'd like to get him on a Tuesday. In a match, he says, will humiliate. Bourne, Matt, particularly, feels very humiliated by the fact that Buddy Rose didn't marry his sister. He didn't want, want him in the family. He knew about it when they were going to get her. One, two, and almost got the pin. At any rate, Matt Bourne, whether he should or not, feels very humiliated and once he says the only way I'll feel all right about the whole thing is if I can humiliate Buddy Rose in the fashion that I have in mind. And he's not revealing what it'll be, but because it's something that could not be on television. And I take it because of the brutal aspect of it. We don't know any more than that. Rose, you heard him say he will not consider it till he hears the details. Side headlock, the destroyer on Oliver. Side headlock. <laughs> 
Sign it up. Regal with the hold on Oliver. Speedway City, Indiana, 1980. Midwest Wrestler of the Year and almost assured of getting that title for 1981 here in the Pacific Northwest. Holding both titles, tag team with Matt Bourne and by himself. The Pacific Northwest Heavyweight title. Forcing the rule with a little hair pulling of his own. Our first fall action tonight's main event. Again, being brought to you folks at home. Particularly for those unable to get out to the wrestling matches. Canvas. Regal with the hold. His grandma used to call him Cupcake. Regal tells the story. Eddie Rose is in and immediately caught in that same side headlock. There's a pair of floor directors for you. Almost said one old one and one new one, but that's not true. We don't have an old one. They're both young ones. Watch out. Steve could be in trouble. No, he is not. But he rose his. Rose lifted him up by the leg. Gonna drop that knee down across his knee. Regal tightened down on it. And caused Buddy Rose to think better of it. Rose doesn't know which corner he's in. He went for the tag and he's in the corner where the destroyer is. Headlock, the destroyer working on, on Oliver. I wonder how it feels to be wrestling the guy you've been wrestling with for many, many, many months. Well, at this point, the destroyer seems to be enjoying it. Rhythmic 
clapping of the crowd, saying, okay. To the side, headlock by the destroyer. Put on the rope. Double knee lock. He pumps it one time. He caught a hand or maybe a thumb to the midsection. Regal is losing now. Now Buddy Rose will take the tag. Enthusiastically, if the opponent hurt, he does this a lot in these tag team matches. He is one of the toughest punishers of an opponent in the ring of all time, I might add. He's frequently been called a crippler. Regal in trouble. Rose, double chop. Sticks the left hand in there. And they double team. And they're going to double team again after the tag. Oliver in. Regal trying to get over for the tag. But the destroyer. Oh, the destroyer outside the ring gets his head banged into that ring post by the timer over in the opposite neutral corner. Shoulder breaker, no, go behind. Into the ring, up with a victory roll. Small package. He's got the pin. Regal. The pin on Oliver when it looked sure that Oliver had the. Look for sure that Oliver had the pin. And the first ball, after 11 minutes and 13 seconds, for the sunset slip. insisting that the shoulders weren't down. There he is. He said, I had one shoulder inches above the mat. Sandy Barr says, I was there looking, and I went one, two, three. So no matter what you think, you're out. First fall to the team of Steve Regal and the Destroyer. Well, where is it happening in the week to come so that you might out, get out and see it yourself? Well, I'll tell you. But right now, LeGrand, tomorrow, Cage match, 8 o'clock card at the high school gym. Monday at Redmond Junior High School Gym, the cage coming out there too. Tuesday, it's at South Albany High School. Wednesday, a big 12-person over-the-top battle royal. That's Wednesday in Seattle. Thursday, Salem at the Grand Theater. Another big card there, and the top two tag teams going against each other in a grudge match. Anything goes. Next Friday in Eugene, Super Match is down there. Next Saturday, we're back in Portland. All right now we go to L. Tonkin for Marv Tonkin Ford. Three. Uh, you warmed up, Al? I'm ready. ready. to be put to the test? I'm Warm ready for Victoria. Victoria. Victoria's a woman. I don't want to hurt her. That's all right. She can put you to the test. Oh, okay. yes. I, I wore her check on All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, huh? Excuse me. Huh? Okay, okay. I'll be right there. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Sometimes it's physically harder to be never more than an hour away than others, but I promise to be never more than an hour away from our store to ensure that our customers get the best possible deal on newer used cars of their choice. And that's especially true this month during our push, pull, or drag it in, trade in used car allowance at Marv Tonkin Ford. And then we have a lot of good used cars too. Starting Saturday morning, you can buy this 1978 Chevy Love and Camper four cylinder, four speed, which would start around 4,500 most places for just 34.95 full price. Now this is just one example, but stick around with us and I'll be back a little later to show you four more. 
When you are faced with things that say no, get yourself a can of TriFlow, the lubricant that turns no into go. High-performance TriFlow turns no into go. Because TriFlow penetrates to help free frozen parts and has Teflon for unbeatable lubrication. That's why TriFlow lubricates better than the leading brands. So use TriFlow and turn no into go. TriFlow now available at these and other fine stores. If you drive more than one vehicle and you're tired of paying lots of money to insure each one, then listen to this. Now Bonneville Insurance has low rates on our named operator policy, a policy that covers you with every car or vehicle you drive. For one low premium, we can insure you while you drive your own or someone else's car, pickup, motorcycle, RV, or tractor. Phone 643-5701 and ask Bonneville for a quote on their named operator policy. Do it now. The number is 643-5701. Match wits and strategies with the courtroom's greatest trial lawyer, Perry Mason. Weekdays at noon on KPTV 12, Portland. Young man from Indiana who's done something very few wrestlers, a few, but very few have done it, and that is holding both of the championship belts in the Northwest, the tag team with Matt Bourne, and of course the heavyweight belt, Steve Rizzo. Thank you, everybody. You know, you hear Buddy Rose, Rip Oliver, Stan Stasiak, all the members of the Army out here complaining about me not defending my belt. Well, I will be defending my belt Friday in Eugene to whoever the worthiest contender is. Now, you know, there's a lot of belt-hungry people around here, such as Buddy Rose, Rip Oliver, Stan Stasiak. They all, they're like wolves knocking at the door. They want that belt. Buddy Rose wants it so bad, he can't sleep nice. Well, I'll tell you, we've got all the belts. Matt Bourne and myself, we've got the tag belt and the heavyweight belt. And between us, we feel that all the contenders here are going to have to work their way up that list. And when we feel they're worthy enough, because they said we weren't worthy enough, we beat them, and then we came back the following week and took the belt. So Matt Bourne and I consider ourselves very worthy, and all you contenders out there are going to have to work your way right up that ladder, Frank. Okay, remember, Regal will be in a grand tomorrow, Redmond on Monday, Cage matches both those towns, South Albany on Tuesday, Wednesday in Seattle, Jones joins Bourne against what's left of the Army, and anything goes in that one at the Grand Theater. Friday in Eugene, you heard him talk about that one. He'll put the title on the line and then Saturday. We're back in Portland and uh, a week from Saturday, the next big Tuesday card. We'll be right back. Once again, here's Tom Peterson. It's Tom Peterson's truckload sale. We've just returned from the Chicago Electronics Show. Over a million dollars of electronics to sell. Truckloads are arriving every day. And as advertised in the Saturday Oregonian, you can save $100 right now on this audio rack system. Only $4.95, full cash price. And here's what you get. A 25-watt Hitachi receiver, Toshiba turntable with cartridge, Magnavox cassette deck with Dolby, Sanyo speakers, audio rack, all for $495, you save $100. If you don't need the entire audio system, you can buy any piece at these low, low prices. Toshiba Belt Drive turntable with cartridge, only $129. A Magnavox cassette deck with Dolby, $99. A 25-watt Atachi receiver, only $199. Two-way Sanyo speakers, $99. Audio rack, $69. Now that's Tom Peterson. What makes a Pizza Hut pan pizza so good? It's a pan full of homemade taste. Made fresh with dough we raised twice. Baked in a pan with a light, crispy crust. Dripping with pure mozzarella cheese. And your favorite toppings. There's only one place you can get a pan pizza this good. Your hometown Pizza Hut restaurant. Four tickets, 289. <laughs> and I've forgotten the number. 2242, I believe it is. 289-2242. Saturdays only for the Portland Sports Arena. And Saturday cards are come out to the flea market. Every Sunday the flea market doors open at 8 o'clock. Things uh, slow down about 3, so get your tickets by that time in the concession stand. In Eugene, the number to call 345-9717. 345-9717. And 
check that Portland number until I uh, double check it. I believe it's 4222, 4222, 289-4222. That number only on Saturdays during the days for Saturday matches. Stevens and Son at Salem. The jewelry store there is tickets for Salem cards. Watch out for the destroyer in against Oliver. He'd love nothing better than to beat him two straight and nail him with a drop kick. One, two, and Buddy Rose in to certainly make a save on that one. Buddy Rose got the knee up. Caught David Sierra. Alias the destroyer in the middle of the back. That'll probably be a good uh, trivia question in a year or two from now. What was the destroyer's real name? And only a few thousand will know what he looked like. As he took the mask off for those couple of matches, then put it back on. He says, that's the way I've always wrestled. Shoulder throw, pied on hard. Goes the destroyer. But he goes in, going for the sit-out backbreaker way up in the air. And then drops him. Hooks the far leg, gets the count of one, and that's all. former partner. He and the destroyer for a long time shared the tag team championships now held by Regal and Bourne. Destroyer finding a way out of it. Can he follow up to get the tag? Oliver tag. Rose coming in and stopped him just short. Once again, the main event being brought to you. The decision is made by Don Owen. Don Owen is encouraged by the sponsors to bring the main event on television as often as possible. You can understand that he can't always do it. In fact, I think he's doing it a lot more than most promoters would. When it's not brought to you, you can always hear it on Wrestling Wrap-Up. KYXI Radio every Sunday morning. We'll bring you what happens off TV and maybe a few things we forgot to tell you the night before. A bear hug. Buddy Rose. On the destroyer. The tag Oliver's in. And he cuts off the destroyer before he can tag Regal. We've only had first fall so far. Regal won that one over Oliver. And they're going back to the bear hug. That's what they're going to try to win it with. The body lock. Part of that was that Bourne, or rather Rose, got the knee up in the small of the back. I can't think of Rose right now without thinking of Matt Bourne. I'll tell you the truth. 
So if I do a Freudian slip there, please understand, because I know how bad Matt Bourne wants him. Not only wants him in the ring, just beat him. He wants to humiliate him. And he's got something in mind, but we don't know what. I shot Buddy Rose said something. There it is. Now that's what started this whole thing about going to the bear hug. Was a Buddy Rose knee to the small of the back of David Sierra, alias the Destroyer. They got his back hurt, and that's what they're going to work on. Just got a message from the truck, but it was a little too loud. I didn't hear it. Up on the top, turnbuckle, kicking it away. Very double teaming on the destroyer. Whoa! A final boot by Rose. The feet of the destroyer glance off the apron ring off the edge of the apron. And you really get out of control that way. Question from the bus. We've got a floor director by the name of Alex Alejandro Sierra. I don't know if there's any relation. Alejandro, I, does he come from Texas? He, ta he, talks, he talks like he does. I think David is from Arizona, so they could be related. Watch out, Regal. Shoved out on the floor. And Sandy Barr is just having all kinds of trouble keeping this one. Security guards having a little trouble themselves. And now some idiot throwing articles. Uh, that was a cup that was crushed up and thrown toward the ring. First bad thing about that, you're an idiot to do it. Second of all, nearly always, you don't hit the guy you wanted to hit. And somebody like Rose spots that, he'll get it and tear a guy's eye out with it. And it's all your fault because you threw something in the ring in the first place. Rose says, we got him hurt. Regal's down on the floor. The destroyer wants to tag out. Just now is Regal getting back up in the apron in his corner. They worked him over pretty good. Foot stomp. Shoulder blades and again. Gets Oliver in against the destroyer. Backbreaker. One. Two. Flail kicks out. I thought they had him. That might cost them. And the star is still unable to get to the corner to tag out. And the star unable to get the tag. Oliver does sit out backbreaker. No, he blocked it. And the destroyer gets the sit out backbreaker to Buddy Rose. And gets the tag. Here comes Regal. A kick, forearm smashes. Turnbuckle treatment in his own corner. The two blondes with their heads slammed together. Shoulder throw on Rose, covered with a body press. One. Down to two. Oliver's interference, I think, might have helped that one be too straight. 
Watch out. Shoulder breaker, and they double it on him. They got extra force with Buddy Rose helping to slam Regal's shoulder down on the knee. Regal giving the shoulder breaker. Oliver and Buddy Rose win. A second fall. It's all even a fall apiece. We'll be right back. First for Al Tonkin. Al Tonkin four, Marv Tonkin four. It's a $1,000 push, pull, or drag it in sales extravaganza going on right now at Marv Tonkin Ford, during which we'll give you a $1,000 trade-in allowance off dealer window sticker on any new Ford in stock. Even if you have to push, pull, or drag your old car in, as an example, choose this new 1981 Ford Mustang, long list of extras, get your $1,000 trade-in allowance and pay just $169.48 per month. That's only at your Northwest Ford headquarters, Marv Tonkin Ford. What's the Midas touch? It's using specially coated steel. To help our mufflers last. It's putting in a louver tube. To help your engine run easy. It's having a tuning chamber. To help your car run quietly. It's manufacturing our own mufflers. For over 25 years. And it's standing behind them. In writing. It's getting the right muffler at the right price. Get the Midas touch. Nobody else has it. Oh, yeah. One half of the tag team champions of the Pacific Northwest, Matt Bourne. Did you see, did you see the way these two guys won that fall there? That kind of stuff reflects back on me now since Buddy Rose has chosen to be my brother-in-law and has married my sister. That's just one of the little things that I've got to live with that embarrasses and humiliates me. Well, 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 well. Last Tuesday night, I promised everybody I was going to come out here and make an announcement to you on what I had in mind for Buddy Rose. Boy, do I have a match for Buddy Rose. You people will not believe it. It's going to humiliate him and embarrass him so bad, more than everybody he's humiliated put together. Did you see him up here on his interview with Rip Oliver? Did you see his, the embarrassment and the crackling in his voice? I think the man is actually scared. He wants to know so bad, so bad what I got in mind for him. I hope you people won't hold this against me or anything because I know you want to know, but I'm going to make him wait just a little bit longer and sweat it out a little bit harder. Now, I can't overemphasize now on how important it is for everybody to be behind me in this because I am actually putting myself on the line and I'm taking a big risk myself because if I do lose, which is possible, I'll have to put myself in the same position that Buddy Rose is going to have to put himself in if he loses. But I know I beat him twice already. I beat him twice in the middle of the ring already and all you people have seen me. But I can't overemphasize how important it is for you all to be there. You all got to be behind me, and you won't believe it when I tell you that you're all going to be able to participate in it physically. Now, I really mean that physically. Now, just bear with me a little bit longer, and Buddy Rose, you just keep sweating because I heard about you, you found out with the first idea I had about the bear at the Multnomah County Fair, but that, that wouldn't have never worked because you would have just ended up running anyway. But what I've got for you, oh boy, oh boy. You're not gonna believe it, and Buddy Rose, you're gonna be so embarrassed, you're not gonna wanna wrestle in Pacific Northwest anymore, and that's a promise. That's it from that boy. We'll be right back once again, here's Alan Tonkin. Let me know when you want. I'm I ready. Got, I got a surprise for you. Come I'm here, ready. Victoria. I'm ready to enter the ring. Sandy, Victoria's a lady. That's all right. I don't want to hurt her. The test. I don't want to hurt you. Just take her easy. And I hope I don't. 
I think you better stick to selling cars, Al. Al, I told you so. You just got thrown head over heels by a girl. Stick to selling cars. And if you really want to be like Betty, you ought to get married, too. <laughs> well, I guess they're right. Here you are, Alan. Thanks, Otto. Okay, well, I guess I better do what I do best. This is a 1978 Ford Fairmont, four-speed, gas-saving, four-cylinder. 19,000 actual miles, would sell for 4,000 on most lots, but at Marv Tonkin, it was 36.50. Now for this weekend, 34.95. And here we have a nice, nice rig. It's a 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Should be priced about 58.95. Your price this weekend, my personal price on this loaded Z, 48.95. And here's another, another fantastic deal for you. 1978 Cougar XR7 FM stereo. A lot of people ask five grand. We had it at 42.50, but I'd like to see it sold this week for 38.95. And here, last but not least, to Mr. and Mrs. Albert Keith in Dillard, Oregon, is the LTD I told you about on the phone. And if you like the car, Otto will drive it down to you this weekend to buy. Remember, that's at Marv Tonkin Ford, where you're always number one. Third and deciding fall action coming up. Main event of the night, Regal and the Destroyer, Steve Regal. And the Destroyer against Buddy Rose and Rip Oliver. To say that second fall is controversial is to understate the matter. Shoulder breaker on uh, Regal, and he'll have to start this fall since he lost the preceding one. And you know they'll go right to that left arm and shoulder. And they do. Oliver twisting it around the top rope, stomping on it. Rose in, takes the arm bar. They're going to work the left arm and shoulder of Regal. You can be guaranteed of that. The fall of peace. Rose in, working the left arm. Three minutes remaining. Three minutes. Rose caught in the eye. Regal able to get the tag to destroy her in. Regal had to get out of there at that moment. Oliver catches a forearm smash. Outside the ring, now the whip. A whip in the far neutral corner. In the near neutral corner. And the destroyer whipping him back and forth. Now a body slam. He's up on the second turnbuckle, comes leaping off and missed. Tried to nail him with the knee. And Rose was much from reaction, reflex as anything else. Moved out of the way. He jammed that left knee in. So Oliver goes to work on that left leg, kicking in the back of the knee and on the hamstring. Two minutes remaining. Side. The destroyer being worked on by Rose. Regal in. Trying to stop it. Trying to give his partner some help. Rose finally lets go of him. Referee Sandy Barr comes back. Coming off the top rope. Seat drop to the left leg of the destroyer. Half crab. Working on the left leg. As much as a win. He's got the win. And he does not want to let go of the hold. He got the win. 
on a submission the destroyer had to submit to the punishment given on the left leg but let's hold it here okay we have no more we have no more sponsor messages so we'll keep it right here and now Oliver goes at the referee he's got Sandy Barr back up in the corner here comes Matt Bourne they're double teamed on Regal Matt Bourne is in there the destroyer can't help I believe he's out of commission Rose literally thrown out of the ring Matt Bourne sailing up they were double teamed on Regal and the destroyer is down the destroyer is down the destroyer is down and holding that left leg the destroyer is going to have to be helped the destroyer is going to have to be helped from the ring he could not help regal at all matt Bourne now taking him now we've got oliver and rose we, we want a title match next saturday night Don Owens, you said if we win tonight, we deserve a title match. Rigo and brother-in-law, we want a title match next Saturday night, and we promise one time is all we want, and we will win the titles in front of everybody. They can't hide no longer. Don Owens, you said if we beat them tonight, we got a shot. So you tell them to put the belts on the line. Now here put they on are. The line, boy. You want a match, Rose? You want these belts? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. You're gonna have to go through us to get them and you're gonna have to beat us. And that's something I don't think either one of you can do at this point in time. You want a match? Well, baby, you got one. Next Saturday night. That's right, you got it, Rose. You've been talking about it, now you got it. Let's see what you can do, either put up or shut up. And that's not all I got in store for you, brother-in-law. Boy, I wanna know what you got in mind for me. Now, we got a title match next Saturday, but they're talking about 10 days from tonight. You're gonna throw this match on me with three days notice. Well, I'll tell you what, you can surprise me with anything, Bourne, and it won't surprise me. I just wanted to know, just to show you people, I was, I thought the people were all behind me. But, you know, but we'll just see how much they're behind you, because whatever you got planned, since you're not going to tell me, just to show you what a man I am, I am going to defeat you and make you embarrassed so you'll never show your face again and we're going to win those titles next Saturday. Now we're out of time for tonight. Well, if he was going to tell, we don't have time. Frank Bonner saying thanks a lot for being with us. See you next Saturday. This has been Portland Wrestling. Brought to you in part by Marv Talk and Ford. We are number one. And by Tom Peterson's, where the big truckload sale comes to an end soon at 82nd and Southeast Boston Road. I'm Frank Bonham, your host. Tonight's director has been Donovan Bass. Floor directors, Laurel Parker and Lois Garrett. Technical director, Harold Tony. Audio and video, Mark Walt. Cameras, Chuck Heil and Steve Karnschnabel. Stay tuned for the Top 10 Countdown with special guest stars on Solid Gold next. Uh, how long is the warranty on this set? Exxon Teleploits of Superman. Smile. Two years in the city isn't gonna change her.
Yeah. Just look to see if you can see us all. Back out of here, Brian. How's it look now? Oh, Christ. <laughs> I got it now. <laughs> 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 look, look, look on the other one. Yeah. What do you see? Do you see us all? Yeah, but you're not all the way in it. Oh. <laughs> Sandy, you're not all the way in it. Okay. Walk up. Somebody else can stand over there. There's a lot of room on this side. I'll stand. I'll stand where you be standing. Right, because. Okay, is that. Yeah. Okay. Remember Carol and Wanda, Sandy. Okay. It, it's it's run, it's running right now. All you do you can zoom in on, on her when you when when they do the hand, you know, the finger thing. Look. Look. No, it just just look this way. Uh, one one gathered here in happiness and joy. Thank God for his blessings of love, which we celebrate today to formally consecrate the love of Paul and Tony for each other. May your marriage be marked by happiness and devotion. Are each of you prepared to take the vow of marriage at this time? Tony? Paul? Do you, Paul, take Tony, of your own free will and consent, to lawfully live life? You promise and agree to love, honor, and cherish her, in sickness or in health, for better or for worse, throughout your life. Yes, I do. Tony, do you take Paul of your own free will and consent as your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise and agree to love, honor, and cherish him in sickness or in health, for better or for worse throughout your life? Place it on Tony's left hand, Paul, and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And pledge my love and devotion forever. And pledge my love and devotion forever. That's fine. Do you have one for Paul? Place it on Paul's left hand. Repeat after me. With this ring I be wed. With this ring I be wed. And pledge my love and devotion forever. And pledge my love and devotion forever. The ring which Paul has placed on Tony's hand is a manifestation of his promise to be a faithful and true husband to his beloved wife, to honor, love, and cherish her throughout her life. And Tony promises the same to Paul, the deepest affection and sincerity. Both of you now assume the obligation to come upon a royal wife and a royal husband. Paul and Tony, over the years, many things have been written about love and marriage, but one I think is very appropriate for these times was written many years ago by a very famous Polish and philosopher uh, came from the Middle East. Here's what he said. Let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heaven stand between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love, but it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cups, but drink not from the same cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you also be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, so they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. Stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Paul and Tony, all of us here wish you happiness, but our wishes alone cannot give us. Happiness can come only from yourselves and from the spirit that is within you. 
can't choose what changes or chances are to befall you in the coming years, but you can choose the spirit with which you'll meet them. And if you'll take these vows, not as a form, but as a bond of honor, which will keep with unswerving loyalty, whatever may come, you will have that inward happiness which no pleasures of themselves can give and no sorrow can take away. Then the home life which awaits you will both be an abiding security to yourselves and a welcome example to others. Today your separate lives, with their own memories, hopes, temptations, and trials, are merged into one. You'll bring into this new life, each of you for the sake of the other, the best in you, the best that you can be. With those thoughts, I would offer this prayer. The Lord, source of all blessing, fulfill every worthy wish of their heart. Open their eyes to the beauty and the mystery of the love that they hold for each other every day as today. May their life together embrace and nurture the promise of this moment, so that all who know them will call them truly blessed. Thus may they live abundantly, enriched with thy blessings and grace. Grant that the home which this couple will establish shall ever be grounded in justice, illuminated by trust, warmed by love, filled with idealism, surrounded by friendship, and safeguarded by a genuine spirit of family devotion and service. Amen. Inasmuch as Paul and Tony have consented together in marriage and have witnessed the same before this company, and thereto have pledged their faith to each other by joining hands and giving and receiving rings, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a judge of the circuit court of the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife together. May you find happiness in this union. May you live faithfully together, performing the vows and covenants between you made. And may you ever remain in sympathy and understanding, living according to the ways of truth, beauty, and love. The years may be rich in the joys of life, your days may be good and long upon the earth. For now you'll feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you'll feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be comforted by the other. Now you are two bodies, but there's only one life before you. So go now to your dwelling place and enter into the days of your togetherness. May your days be good and long upon the earth. And may God bless your life. Our right. bride and groom. Congratulations. Oh, they held up well. Didn't seem like a half hour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Stay right there. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Can we get your picture with Of course, sure. You bet. That's all right. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at my man Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Would you like to be his mother? Uh, that's a neat one. Thank you. Thank you. I want to picture this judge because I just got a feeling that someday I'll be in front. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm ever there, I'm going to stay here. You're welcome. Thank you very much.
No, I got a couple other prospects. Okay, you well, you know I mean, mine. Somebody. I got plenty of those to take. Virginia yeah, I mean, uh, oh, I've got a carton up in my car. Don't worry. Oh, but it's on my property, and he lost his car, too. That's what he said last time. Hey, hey, your brother. Hi, Tony. Tony, no, that's you? my brother's brother-in-law. He's the head of the mafia in Ohio. Oh, yeah? That's a crook. My dad. Used to have a wrestler working. What did you want to have? Not yet, no. Many years ago, he was, they called him Mr. Clean. He was completely bald. Good. Where did the bad head? Right here. Oh. He was probably running Francis Ford. He was what? Running Francis Ford. Um, wouldn't you know I'm sitting here doing this? So I got Sherry picking her nose. Uh, you thought it was a young man. You don't go back to oh your yeah. You don't go back to your nose. Yeah, you don't go back to your nose. You're terrible. Many years ago. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I knew a Mr. Queen, but he wasn't from around here and he's never been around here. Well, they only called him that because he was a teacher. I don't know. I recognize that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking up. Uh, I think Carol took the picture. Remember, because right after you took that picture, you come over and wrap your arms around me. Yeah. Huh? What's she doing like that? What's oh, she doing? She doesn't look at you. Hey, Dave. Go brush your teeth, Tony Ray. I'll brush what we feel. <laughs> 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 what am I telling you? Keep your hands off my back. Um, when can I touch her? Hey, after 10 years. He's got papers on him. Yeah. He's got papers on him. Hey, you take a long time to die to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here, I'm going to buy him an organ and a monkey. Hey, hey. 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 Hey.